The clothes we wear today are amazing, and we have tailors and sewing machines to thank for their high quality. Without sewing machines, we wouldn't have the great clothes we enjoy today. The invention of the sewing machine is a fascinating topic that many sewing enthusiasts are curious about. It has a history full of interesting stories, including failed attempts and scandalous events. In this video, we'll dive into the inventor of the sewing machine and the time when it was created. We'll also explore how the sewing machine works. So, get ready to learn all about it. A sewing machine is a machine that helps sew fabric and materials together using thread. It was invented during the first industrial revolution to make sewing clothes easier for clothing companies. The first sewing machine, made by Thomas Saint in 1790, improved the efficiency of the clothing industry. Home sewing machines are designed for one person to sew things using different types of stitches. Modern sewing machines automate the stitching process, so you don't need needles, thimbles, or other hand sewing tools. Early sewing machines were operated by turning a handle or using a foot pedal. Later, electric machines were introduced. Industrial sewing machines are bigger, faster, and come in many different sizes, costs, and appearances compared to machines used at home. They have different tasks and are used in industries. In 1755, a German-born engineer named Charles Frederick Wiesenthal received the first British patent for a mechanical device to assist sewing. His invention featured a double-pointed needle with an eye at one end, a helpful tool for sewers. Moving forward to 1790, an English inventor named Thomas Saint created the first design for a sewing machine. His machine was specifically designed for sewing leather and canvas materials. The aim of his machine was to reduce the amount of hand stitching required for garments, making sewing more reliable and efficient. Saint's sewing machine utilized the chain stitch method, where a single thread was used to create simple stitches in the fabric. A stitching awl would pierce the material, and a forked point rod would carry the thread through the hole, hooking it underneath and moving to the next stitching spot. This process would lock the stitch in place. While Saint's machine was advanced for its time, it required further improvements before becoming truly practical. Jumping ahead to 1829, a French tailor named Barthélemy Thimonier invented the first widely used sewing machine. His machine, similar to Saint's design, sewed straight seams using the chain stitch method. In 1830, Thimonier established the world's first machine-based clothing manufacturing company creating army uniforms for the French army. Sadly, the factory was burned down by workers fearful of losing their livelihood, following the patent issuance. Today, a wooden model of Thimonier's machine is on display at the Science Museum. In 1832, an American inventor named Walter Hunt developed the first American lockstitch sewing machine. His machine featured a needle with the eye and point on the same end, carrying the upper thread, and a falling shuttle carrying the lower thread. There are different types of stitches that sewing machines can create. According to the ISO standard, there are over three dozen recognized stitch formations involving one to seven separate threads. These stitches can be plain or patterned. The four main categories of plain stitches are chain stitch, lock stitch, overlock, and cover stitch. Chain stitch was used by early sewing machines but has two major drawbacks. Firstly, if the thread breaks or is not tied at both ends, the entire length of stitching can come undone. Secondly, the direction of sewing cannot be changed much from one stitch to the next. A better stitch was found in the lock stitch. This is the stitch commonly performed by household sewing machines and industrial single needle machines. It uses two threads, one passed through a needle and one from a bobbin or shuttle. The threads interlace at each needle hole, creating a secure stitch. Lock stitch can be formed anywhere on the fabric being sewn. And that's a wrap on our journey through the captivating world of sewing machines. We hope you enjoyed learning about the history, mechanics, and endless possibilities of these incredible devices. 
If you found this video informative and inspiring, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for future videos, we'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment down below, and we'll make sure to respond. Take care, and see you in our next video.